Hey guys, I'm John with Lumitex Minute Expert, and today we're going to talk about lumens. It's part two in the segment, and this one is Advertisers Sleight of Hand. Now these days, a lot of products are coming with lumen measurements right on the package. That's good for you, the consumer. What's not so good is that sometimes these lumen measurements aren't entirely accurate. Sometimes they're downright deceptive. So today we want to arm you with some information that's going to make you better equipped to make the right purchase decisions. Now in part one of the series, we told you that lumens are a unit measure of the total output of visible light coming out of a luminaire, regardless of what direction that light is headed. As we showed you, lumens are measured using an integrating sphere like the one in Lumitex Optics Lab. So you would think that a lumen number on a package would be a great way to compare between two lights, right? Well, not always. Here we have four floodlights designed for a boat, truck, or off-roader. Now this light claims to be about 900 lumens, this one is marked for 2,000 cold lumens, and this one, Lumitex Caprera LT Floodlight, advertises 1,000 measured lumens. So the advertised lumen measures are pretty varied. Which do you think would deliver the best performance in the field? Well, let's take a closer look. Now here's some images of the lights projected in our optics lab. Which image do you think goes with which lumen claim? Well, we'll put each in our integrating sphere for some more detail. So why the big disparity between what's in the box and what's on the box? Well, it turns out that lumens aren't really easy to measure. A piece of equipment like the sphere here in Lumitex Optics Lab can easily cost more than $100,000, and many of the products you see on the market today are from companies who have no real technical depth in lighting. Instead, they often refer to things like cold lumens, raw lumens, or calculated lumens when describing their products. What does that mean? Generally speaking, those types of terms indicate that the lighting manufacturer has taken the best case output and then multiplied that by the number of emitters used in the light and then scaled that number by the actual power of the entire luminaire. And we've observed that it can overstate the advertised output of a light by more than 300%. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, when looking for a luminaire, look for a device from a reputable, knowledgeable company. Steer clear of terms like raw lumens, cold lumens, or calculated lumens, and visit www.lumatechlighting for more information for lumens, how they're measured, and a host of other lighting-related facts.